Hello, welcome to Ekidel. My name is Justice Mwaka and I'm your instructor. Today, we will be learning how to create a curved beam just like this. So, today we will be learning how to create a semi curved beam here in Puta Structure. As you can see this building right now, this is a five-story building where this is the ground floor and this is the first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor and the fifth floor. If you look at this fifth floor right now, this fifth floor has a roof slab where this um, last, this fourth floor is used for, um, for a club or for a bar. And if you look at this right now, you can see a fanciful um, roof slab just here which has a curve also as you can see it here so in my next video i will be uh, making um, how to design a raft foundation for this kind of structure so i would say you should subscribe to my ch channel Ekideo, and also turn on the turn on the notification button if you have not done that and also share this video for your friends so uh, this they also know how to use a um, put that structure to create uh, a perfect uh, model like this and also design and if you see this also you can see that we have an inclined column as you can see right here which which um, carries this lobby on this area okay as you can see it right here we, we have also created this so in my next video i'll show you also how to create this kind of um, column inclined column and if you see this also you see that we have um, also um, we have some ways here. These are guard rails. As you can see there, since this place is meant for clubbing, we also have a guard way right all around this area which we use for clubbing. So as you can see it right now, um, you can see how it is. Okay, so let's go for our business for today, which is to create um, a curved beam. Okay, so we go down now to uh, we will be creating the curved beam right here on this um, second floor and on this first floor okay so let's go down to um, second second floor okay, let's start on second floor to create a curve beam and then we can now go to our plan view okay so right now on this plan view right now as you can see right here if you want to create a curve beam you first of all click on concrete member and then click on um, concrete beam now once you have Click on the concrete beam. The next thing right now you do is to um, set your beam width, which is on, on this case, we want to use 225. And also, you click on your H button, then right click on that point and select your um, beam depth, which on this case, we want to use 450. And then, since we are inserting a curved beam, the next thing we do right now is to check this curved icon here so once this icon is being checked automatically the software assumes that you are trying to insert a curve beam and the software will give you a curve beam once you are able to insert all the parameters which which is needed so once you click on this icon right now the next thing you do is to click on one of the column or the points where you want your curve beam to start from so in our own case we want to start the curve beam here so that is why we click this point then you move to the next point where the next column or the next point where you want to end your curve beam. In this case, you want to end it on this column. Now you can see right now that we have our curve beam going out, out outside and going inward. You can see it also. So if you want our curve beam to go outside, which is on this case, we want the curve beam to go outward. So in this case, right now, you can see that if you look at this um symbol here you can see that there is a length which is l equals to right now is minus one minus it's 970 but now that thing simply means that you should specify the length which is the chord length which is the chord of uh, of this curve beam so in this case right now we want to use 1200 millimeter as the length or the chord length of this curved beam so what i will do right now for you to impute length in in right here in putter structure what you do is to use shift f2 you 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 hold your shift key and press f2 so once you hold shift key and press f2 
it will not it will not ask you to impute your value since we are going outward you can see that there is a there is a minus sign there which is um which is also a negative sign so if it's for a put negative sign and then you put your chord length which is now in case you want to use 1200 millimeter so once you input it in that you now click on ok or enter button automatically you will see your code being inserted okay then you cannot click on escape and if you go to look at right now on our 3d view you will see what we have just created you can see it right now so since we now have a curve bin we can now go back to our plan view and remove this bin right here you can remove take off this bin right here right now and then also take off this slab to now insert a new slab I've already showed you guys how to insert slab in most of my videos. So if in case you don't know how to insert video, um, insert a slab, I would say you should check on the on this video this description and um, check on the link. You will see some of the videos that tells you how to insert slab. Okay, so you click on this. Um, so right now I want to insert the slab right now. So I will click on this concrete member and then click on um, slab. I've already set all the settings and also inputted all, all the loading. Like I said, you can watch my next video uh, on my um on my previous videos to know how to insert slab. Okay, so right now we're gonna click on this place to insert a slab here. Okay, so you cannot see the kind of slab that we have just achieved right now. We are the load on this area of this triangle goes to this beam, and the load on this area goes and the load on this area right now goes to this beam and the load on this region goes to this beam and the load on this area goes to this curved beam okay so if you go right now again to our 3d view to see what we have just created you will see what we have um, just created you can see what we have created right now this is a curved beam and also this is the slab you can see what we have created okay so let's go again to create again for this other once so go back again to our plan view once again sorry once again okay so on this air right now so we will just take off this um beam one now and take this one off and then take off the slab also because we are going to insert a new slab okay so the next one i'll do right now is to now click on um concrete member and then click on concrete beam and uh, then we will now click make sure you check this if you don't check this this portal structure where we assume that you are trying to insert just a straight beam so you have to check this curved beam insertion icon and then you click on the first point of your curved beam and then you click on the last point of your curved beam then you now specify the the direction of your curved beam if you want it to go inward then you have to um type your length inward if you want it to go downward then you also type your length downward and if you look at this if you're going inward you can see that that, that length of l is showing positive but if you're going outward the that length of l now has now has a now has a minus sign which shows that if you put a minus sign your curve beam will gonna come out outward and and if you didn't put a minus sign it will go inward so in this case we want our curve beam to come out outward so we have to impute our length or the chord length of this um, curve beam to be negative value so which is in this case our chord length is 1200 millimeter so we have to use shift f2 so you hold your shift key and press f2 and then you now put your length which is minus 1200 and then you now press the enter key you can see right now okay so then now we will also have to insert on this area too so what i'll do right now is to go back to my concrete bin and click on this concrete bin and then click on this icon make sure you click on this icon and then what i'll do again right now is to click on this point right now and then let's say that on this one we let us use um a a beam um chord length of 1300 so we click on this point and then hold our shift f2 key and then impute minus 1300 and then click on enter okay so you can now see what we have just gotten right now then we'll click on escape and then go to our concrete member click on slab to insert slab on this point okay so click on this slab right now and then click on escape okay so we now go back to our 3d view to see what we have just achieved right now 
Okay, so you can now see what we have just achieved right now. You can see that. Let me take off this grid so I can see it clearly. Okay, so you can now see what we have just achieved right now. You can see how we have inserted this curve beam perfectly. Okay, so let us also insert um, another curve beam on this area so they can see it clearer and clearly. So go again and click um, on our axis to on our axis back and then go back to our um, plan view. And but this time we are going to click on the um, story one because we want to insert curve beam on that story one. Okay, so we then go again and then click on the um, concrete member and then click on um, slab. Sorry, not slab. We click on beam because we want to insert um, concrete um, beam. So click on beam. And then next thing right now to do is to click check on this place because we want to insert a curve beam. So we now click on um, this point right here. And then first of all, we have to remove escape first, remove all this beam that is here already because we want to insert a curve beam around along this area. So take off these ones and delete them. You say yes. And then also remove these um, ones. Remove this lab. Say yes. Okay, so we now have a clearer view like this right now. So we can now click on concrete beam and then click on um, concrete member and concrete beam. Then check this um, icon, this curve beam. Yeah, and then click on this first point and then click on this last point and then you have to now specify the the direction of your curve beam either inward or outward in this case you want to use outward if you're going inward you have to put a positive value of for the for the for the for the length of cord and if you're going outward you put in it a you have to put in a d value for the length of cord so in this case we are going outward and we want our cord length which is that l that is showing there to be 1200 so we have to hold the um, shift key f2 minus 1200 and then click on enter okay so we have just inserted this um curve beam right now you can see it right here if i click on the escape right now you will see that we have inserted this curve beam showing one b which is 21 um, beam 22 225 by 450 which is the dimension of this beam you can now see what we have just inserted okay so let's go again to insert for this one also so we'll click on concrete member and click on concrete beam make sure you grab this very well if you if you really want to know how to insert a concrete beam and also if you have not yet subscribed to my channel Ekidel, I would say you should do that so that you don't miss my coming video on how to design a raft foundation and also how to insert a steel member on a concrete um, member. Okay, so we have to also, um, click on this point, um, this curve beam insertion icon and then click on this first point and then click on this um, last point here right now and then specify our direction, which is in this case we want it outward and then specify our cord length, which is the L there and then we have to hold shift key function f2 minus you now input your cord length which in this case we want to use 1200 so i have to put 1200 millimeter and then i click on enter okay then i have to click on okay so for this one also we we, we want to insert another curve beam here but in this case we want our cord length to be um 1300 millimeter the outward direction so we'll click on this point and then click on this point sorry not that way so escape sorry so we click um, concrete member and concrete bin click on this point and then click on this point before we the so the mouse took me to this area but i want to snap it on this area so i'll click on this point oh no i didn't um, select this icon you see why you have to select the icon so i'll click on escape and then click on delete then i have to choose the icon first and then click on this point and then click on this point so they can of, um, direction I want. I want the direction to go outward, so I have to put um, shift key function F2 and then minus 1300. That's one I want to use for this area, so I'll click enter. Okay, so you can now see what we have just achieved right now. If we go on our 3D view to see what we have just got right now, you will see that we have successfully inserted this curve beam perfectly. So you can now see what we have got just now. If I take this grid line, um, off you cannot see how clever it is okay let's see if if we, if we can work directly on this uh, 3d view to insert our slab this slab you're seeing here i want to insert a slab here on this on this panel and on this panel and on this panel so let's see if we can do that right now so to insert this slab just click on your concrete member and then click on slab okay so then we also now click on the 
just um, rotate your um, mouse and then zoom out the area see this point and then click on this point so okay so you can now see that we have inserted um slab perfectly at this point right now like i said before if you have not subscribed to my channel Ekidel, i would say you should um click on the subscribe button and also share the video and, and like the video make sure you like the video and like the video and also turn on your um so that you don't miss the coming video on how to design um raft foundation for this um, building and also how to um how to um, provide um steel wheels all around this can see there so in my next video i'll be doing a full video on how to model this kind of structure so i will say you should um, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss this coming video okay so let's also insert the slab at this point so we also click here to insert slab here and click here to insert slab here and then we'll click on escape so you can now see that at this point right now we have um successfully created a curve beam perfectly right here in Prota structure. You can see that. You can see what we have created. And also this model have a staircase hall. As you can see right now, this space is for a staircase which will have an access, which the, st which the staircase will, lead, will start for the access to this top um, space here for the bar. So you cannot see what we have just created. In my next video also, I will show you how to create this kind of curve beam. You can see that for this uh, for, for, for this one, this curve beam is only on one side. But in my next video, I will also show you how to create a curve beam like this, just like an Olympic um, symbol. You can see it right here. So also, um, in my next video, I will also show you how to create um, a steel rail just like this. You can see this steel rail right now. I will also show you how to create kind of steel rail and also how to, how to um, create an inclined um, column. As you can see it right now. And um, I will show you a lot of things. But my next coming video will be on the design of a raft foundation for this um, for this building. As you can see, it's right here. This is a perfect model which um, you will learn a lot if you um, follow the video from beginning to the end, which I will um, do in my next video. So I will say you should subscribe to my channel Ekidel, turn on your notification button and also share this video to your friends and family so okay so this um today we have come to the end of um, our, our lesson for today which is to um create a curve beam using Prota structure which we have successfully created as you can see it right here okay so thank you and then we we'll wait for um, the next video on the craft foundation design and also how to create um, this t rail and how to create this kind of curve beam okay so thank you and watch out for the next video